What are your expectations going forward as to how the success of that film for Warner Brothers is going to translate into success in selling toys and other products for Mattel? Yes, Romain, uh, from the beginning, this was never just about making a movie. The goal was to create a cultural event, uh, a societal moment. And we could not be more proud and excited by the success of the movie at the uh, just barely a week since uh, the release. Uh, phenomenal success at the box office. And of course, what we're seeing is that a very broad audience is going to the cinema beyond the, the core Barbie fans. We're seeing men, we're seeing uh, people going multiple times, and we're seeing very strong performance in the international market. And this is before Japan even released, mm -hmm. uh, which is only going to happen in August. So very strong momentum for the brand. Uh, and we're very excited to see the, the overall market reaction. Do you have any sort of sense, though, of sort of what sort of accretion to revenue the success of that movie will have for toys? And I bring that up to Enon because there's been a lot of talk uh, about the idea that this movie, it's a great movie, but it is certainly geared much more towards adults than it is the, ch the children that I would think would be the primary buyers uh, of a lot of your products. Well, we've seen... Uh the product related to the movie selling out very fast. We also expect to see impact on the Barbie brand overall. And since the movie launch, uh, or I would say from the beginning of, of uh, the third quarter, we're seeing significant improvement in POS in Barbie. And we expect that to continue to translate to, to, to strong performance overall for the brand. But this is not just about the quarter and it's not just about the year. This is about long-term franchise management. And there's no debate that the halo effect of the movie and the way it will recontextualize what people think uh, of Barbie and the emotional connection between uh, uh, Barbie fans and the franchise will elevate it and will be an important uh, driver uh, for growth in Barbie and, uh, and, and the brand overall for years to come. And point taken that this is about the franchise and this is about sort of a long-term plan here, but if we were to focus on what this could translate into for this year, there's some interesting F estimates out from Stiefel, for example, who thinks that the Barbie movie could generate about $100 million in revenue for Mattel. What do your own proje projections look like? Well, we do have meaningful economic participation from the movie, directly in the movie. We have, of course... Uh, uh, a lot of upside in, uh, in movie-related product. We have more than 165 consumer product partners and retail uh, collaborations all over the world tied directly to the movie. And of course, we uh, continue to see growth and momentum in the Barbie brand overall. Uh, we haven't broken it out for the year, but this is, of course, uh, a real driver economically. But, you know, uh, taking a step back, I think it's important to emphasize that this is really a showcase for the cultural resonance of our intellectual property, our ability to attract and collaborate with top creative talent and bringing our capabilities in franchise management and demand creation to the fore in very close collaboration with Warner Brothers mm. that have done a tremendous job in marketing the movie. Well, let's talk about what further collaborations could come, because, again, if we look at the Mattel studio, uh, the, or rather the portfolio, you have brands like Hot Wheels, you have American Girl, Barney, for example. When could we see the next Mattel-related movie? Yes, we have uh, a very exciting slate of, uh, of more projects in development. We have uh, Hot Wheels uh, in partnership with J.J. Abrams as producer, with Warner Brothers. Matchbox with Skydance that produce Mission Impossible and Top Gun, uh, Rock and Sockin' Robots with Vin Diesel, Polly Pocket with Lily Collins, mm -hmm. Major Matt Mason with Tom Hanks. Yeah. You mentioned yeah. Barney. So there's an exciting state of, of projects. We haven't announced a release schedule, but all of these projects are progressing and, yeah. and uh, are very exciting for us. So you have to then have an eye on, I guess, the supply that you're going to need. Assuming that this stays in the cultural zeitgeist, people are going to want to buy Barbies, maybe Hot Wheels, Barney, and some of the other products out there here. How have you prepared your company and your, I guess, your supply chain executives for dealing with any potential upswell in demand for these products? Well, we, we transformed the company over the last five years to be a high-performing platform. We have an incredible design and development capability. Our supply chain is a competitive advantage in terms of scale, 
the breadth of our uh, production capacity and uh, in ability to produce product at scale at a very, very productive and, uh, and, and, and good cost structure for Mattel. Mm -hmm. And of course, a global commercial operation where we sell product in over 500,000 stores globally. So oh. between design and development, uh, uh, supply chain and commercial, we have a very strong platform to grow our toy business. Is it diver is that supply chain uh, a system right now for Mattel? Is that diversified enough to avoid maybe some of the potential disruptions that we've seen other companies have had that have maybe been too dependent on China or other nations to produce the goods? Yes, much of the work that we have done over the last few years was to create a modular supply chain system that can respond and react and be well diversified and flexible enough uh, to cater for changes and be able to produce and manufacture product at the right time, at the right cost structure for the company, and uh, take yeah. into consideration um, uh, geopolitical implications. All right, uh, Inan, well, this is certainly an exciting time for you. I know this is probably the most excitement people have had for a movie in quite some time. I assume you saw the Barbie movie and enjoyed it. I saw it multiple times. Okay. It actually gets better every time I see it. <laughs>